Hey everybody, welcome back to a Jade Falcon Freeborn. So yeah, man, we're sitting at Launderholm right now and the map has significantly changed. Let's have a look here. Um, it's going to change every day. I was reading on the um, Discord forums for uh, Rogue Tech. Someone was saying that um, Ironhold, someone ch switches it to uh, Jade Falcon every day. And it's like, there's like three of them apparently, three Jade Falcon uh Hardcore people would switch this to Jade Falcon and then the wolf guys come along and switch it back. So um, I guess every once in a while we see it in the the progress the Falcon ears are making and then it's just back to wolf again. So not much we can really do about that. But we left this planet here partially in, in uh, wolf hands, partially in Dharma Shark hands and Hell's Horses hands. Now someone's gone 100% Hell's Horses here. It's kind of nice. Nice to see the wolf's being pushed back. Tamaron, uh, Five Skull Planet is... Looking like Hell's Horses is, is taking a work on it now. The uh, uh, Clan Wolf had it at 100% uh, there the other day. Uh, this one here, uh, Diamond Shark is losing control. Actually, just in the moment that I've been up, they've lost another 10%. So, um, yeah, this I guess it's cl these two guys are Clan Wolf taking it. So, not much we can really do about that. Uh, Wolf and Diamond Shark are on this planet here. So, I think we're going to hop back there. Afterwards, um, we're going to take a, a mission here first. It is against Clan Wolf, but these guys, I don't know, these guys have pretty much got it under control here, so maybe we should hop over here. Um, so we are we are al currently allied right now with Hell's Horses, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Are we not allied? No. We're enemies with this faction, right? We're allied with Diamond Shark, right? If I'm not mistaken? Um... Pretty sure it's Diamond Shark, right? Right, we're allied with Diamond Shark. Uh, I'm going to break the alliance with Diamond Shark right now. I just wanted to see what we would get um, for allying, and we didn't get a whole lot other than, you know, bonus uh, um, percentage for doing contracts for them. We didn't get a lot out of it, so I'm just going to drop them for now. Uh, where did they go here? Hell Sources. Ice Helion. Oh, sorry, Diamond Shark. Yeah, so now they still like us, but that's fine. Uh, we've cleared all the rep with everybody else except for Clan Wolf. They, these guys hate us. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, let's get back into things. And let's move. Hell's Horses doesn't mind us now. So let's... Um, we said we were going to take the uh, defend base mission here. Now, we didn't, we, know, we normally don't do very many of these, but let's... Uh, our sea bills is at five million right now. We've got a ton of sea bills. I was able to sell a lot of stuff off after the last episode. Um, do we want to do? Let's move. I think we want to strike against harder targets. We're not going to find them here on this planet, so let's not waste our time. Um, and let's go to the star map again. Uh, now our contract variance is one and a half skull right now, so if we move here, we can get up to a four skull mission possibility and down to one skull, which means we're going to have our second lance running as well. So let's f just kind of boot over there. Five skull will give us a possibility for three and a half, but uh, you know, three and a half to five, and it's you know we're not going to get a lot of missions here, but I think we'll be able to do a lot over here, and we can take them against Clan Wolf hopefully. So let's travel there. Now, once again, I don't really know a lot about the new uh, 999 patch. Um, you can kind of download the beta of it and uh, get that running if you wanted to. Um, but, uh, like, once again, I stay away from betas until I absolutely know that it's working okay. I don't think that there's not a 1.5 patch functioning beta as of yet, but they're getting pretty close. Um, let's have a look at the general. We lost the heat sink, I believe, on this guy. Did we not? We did. We got tons of these guys. So let's get that replaced. So as I was saying, yeah, it's, it's you know, um, going to hold off until I know that it's going to be uh, stable and stuff. Right. Last thing I want to do is, like, screw up my, my save and everything. I, I mean, I can just move it to a different location and stuff, but, you know, I'm not really, uh, I don't want to have to take extra time to kind of uninstall and uninstall and all that stuff. So, anyway, I'm not sure if anybody has tried the 999 patch. If you have, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let us all know how it's, how it's working out. Um, 
Once it drops, though, once the 999 1.5, um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> do we really need to explain that to her? BA 1100 ends in stock? I don't know. Um, it's, <laughs> should we ex I don't know which one is the best way to do this. Should I ask Yang for one of my mech too? Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to go. All right, now she's in high spirits. Cool. I didn't want to, didn't want to tear it down. I don't think, uh, Later you find your battle mech lovingly decorated with red shiny balloons. Nice. Anyway, the BA 1100 ends. All right. Um, yeah, anyway, if you guys have uh, played around with the uh, 999 patch, uh, load it in the comment section down below. Also, um, once that drops and we have a stable version for 1.5, um, let me get things up and running. What I would like to do is do another... Uh, Right now, I've got a kind of rogue tech starters guide, and it's for a couple of versions ago, like 997, I think, or 996, or so. I think it's 7, earlier version of 7. I'd like to get another video up and running, um, but I'd also like a bunch of comments on what should be in it. Uh, I know the ECMs and um, the Beagle, like the, the uh, sensors, should be in it. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff. There's, I mean, talking about the mech and what you, how you want to load it out, things like that. Um, any starter tips? I mean, the starter tips are pretty much still the same. Making sure you kind of get your second mech bay up and running as fast as possible is really important. Um, you know, getting your mech sorted out at start, um, things like that uh, are important. But if you guys can come up with anything else that you think should be in it, drop it in the comment section down below, and I'll make sure to include it. Um, so for people who are new players, uh, hopefully it will really help them out. I like the com community to expand more too. Seems we got lots of players online with the online map, so that's kind of really nice. Um, but having more would be even better. So, and I think if people can not get frustrated at the very beginning of Rogue Tech, it's kind of really, really important because I mean, it is. I mean, even just looking at the store here. If you don't know what all these things are, it can be really, really overwhelming, right? So I think we really need to come up with a really good um, opening handbook, I guess you could say. So maybe we can get um, just a rough idea of, of the kind of content it should be in it, come up with a good uh, play guide, and then in the comment section down below, just have a whole bunch of tips and tricks and what people, how they've experienced um different mech loadouts, different things like that. But we'll worry about that when we come up when we come up against that, when I go ahead and do that video, which might be this weekend, depending on if they get the uh, 1.5 patch up and running or not. Okay, so let's have a look at our contracts here. And go to the barracks, and then we'll come back. Looks like there's a couple of four skulls there, which are nice. I don't think we've got in our mainlands anything that we can really Commander? take. Uh, Mockingbird... Let's go with the piloting. Um, or sorry, this is Hannibal. Uh, yeah, we want to go piloting. We want to get the extra evasion. Training confirmed, Commander. And Mockingbird, Commander? you're good. Shogun's good. Six pack is good. Sundance. Um, we've got enough. Tactics? Where do you want to go? Heat gen. Let's go tactics. Training complete. Um, El Duce, we're good. Blockade, we're good. And Avalanche, we're just leaving for now. Um, she's the backup pilot, so we'll leave her. So let's have a look at our contracts here. See if we can pull off three today. We've got, uh, wow, really, like, 275 days. They should really limit these to, like, within a certain number of days away. But anyway, uh, I digress. Beefed up security. Is this against attack by raiders? I have no idea who the raiders are. Uh, Swift Reclamation. Is this versus... That's Clan Diamond Shark that we'd be up against. 
Diamond Shark would be up against. I mean, I guess it's not so bad. Um, local government. Two lances of mechs. Pirates. Hostile and I was hoping to get some stuff against Clan uh, Wolf here. Corporate secrets. There we go. Rival corporation from Wolf. It's a recovery mission. Okay, so that could be a lance blocking and a lance after. Um, well, we're looking to punch above our own weight. Let's give it a shot. Let's do something challenging. And we're not going to take the second lance because that would just be disastrous. Not saying they're terrible, but they just don't have the juice for this one. Although, I don't know. Weight-wise, I don't know if we do either. We have to be very careful here. Mockingbird, Duce Blockade. we got the pilots. we got the skill. we got the weapon systems. I think, well, let's hope we're okay. All right, got to keep our eyes open on this one. Just worried about the weight of the enemy mechs right now. Okay, let's run this one by the books. Let's get up here. So my thought immediately uh, after seeing where we are um, is assault the base the same way we normally do. Going to go down this little pathway here. Commander? Utilize the train as best we can. Um, and take out the main lance. Now, I don't want to move too far into the facility. Because my thought is is once we grab the person, right, and we take out the lance here, I want to fade back. Because we're going to have two guys coming in here and two guys coming in here. I want to fade back. It's either going to be here or here somewhere where we can draw them into a funnel fire area. Use some hit and run tactics to try and bring them down, depending on how heavy the mechs are. That we may even have to do that with the main lance here, depending on how heavy it is. So this is the first four skull we've done. Gone through three and a half before. Thinking that they were going to be tough, but... Uh, I don't think they were letdowns, but still, it's like... We've got a lance that's running really well now. Let's not give them any firing solutions. Most likely, they're going to have really good ECMs and stuff, too. Okay, we got somebody here. Tank Destroyer SM3. Generally, that thing runs Gauss Rifles, so we should be very careful about that. Let's get up over here. Not moving. It would be nice to have jump jets to get up here, but that's fine. Enemy detected. Orion. Okay. Mad Dog. Don't think they can see us. Gotcha. What do you need? Let's not provoke. Aye, aye. Ah, do I want to take a shot at him? I think we do. Let's stir up a hornet's nest, guys. We had a really good shot at him. We could not take that. That's four hits. Uh, do we take the Orion? Or the tank destroyer?
It's a lot of armor. Uh, let's go. Yes. I was thinking about doing a uh, precision strike. Uh, but my fear with that, I can't move a 30 ton, 5 ton mech into this range. We can't hear though. You're well hidden. That's the other side, but we are shooting from the front, so we should be okay. Not quite enough. Damn it. Yeah, but you didn't kill him. Just want him to go before this mad dog again. He's positioning his other arm and firing. Yes, Commander. No shooting, just running. Got it. I'm just really nervous about this, guys. Don't want to lose anything, but I don't want to pull out of this mission either. Okay, problem one solved. There's got to be another mech back here, probably, too. This guy's smoking, which is a good thing. They haven't applied any damage to us yet. I don't think he can see us. Oh, yes, he can. Okay, vehicle. Jesus Christ, what are you shooting? What is it? What is that? Oro heavy tank. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Waiting for orders. No idea what that is. That's a bad thing. Let's try and get some cover. Yeah, we're gonna target this guy. Um, I'm gonna do this. I think we're gonna go after this leg. He's already lost his arm, so let's go up to the leg and fire. Oh, I love you, girl. You're so good. Reporting critical hit. Nicely done. Um, see if we can get Griff to follow that up. I'm gonna ignore that Orion. Hopefully, we can keep this rock between us and him. I, sh I know I should be a a worried about that vehicle, but um, make sure you're sweeping the leg, not the body, the leg. Ah, uh, now what do I do with blockade? Um, let's hope for the leg. Nicely done. Okay, so we got our salvage for today. It's a heavy tank. So let's use some vigilance. So we can get the initiative on him next turn and get over here. Let's, move. Let's apply some damage to this guy early. Um, let's warlord it, get a little bit more, and fire. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. That's a pretty cool looking model, gotta say. Mostly front damage. Commander? Can you see him? Can't. 
Solid. Okay, I can be a little bit more uh, gotcha. forward here. Okay, there's that one gone. Down. Gotta say, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool looking vehicle. Okay, Griff, let's have some balls here. Can't target the Orion, but let's grab our uh, scientist. So if we need to make a break for it, we definitely can. See what this Orion's going to do. Welcome to the jungle, my friend. Welcome to the jungle. Large back on. Offensive push. We'll wait till next turn before we uh, do the um, Warlord here. Um, although I am going to Vigilance with this guy. I want him to go earlier rather than later. And we'll fire. I don't know if we're going to have uh, reinforcements here. We're really low on um, resolve right now. Should have saved it for Mockingbird, but I think that was probably the right decision. Get her on the side here. She always comes through for us anyway. Oh, I still got a little bit left. Okay, got the leg anyway. But that hurt. So I'm thinking we might get lucky. It is round eight. Aye, aye. Reinforcements would have arrived, I think, by now. On my way. Let's go after the leg. Confirm. Ooh, head hit. Doesn't have much left. Luce. Leg, please. Nope. Almost, I bet. Wait, is he dead? Oh. Yeah, like five points or something. Eight points. Just got a blow on him next turn. Shut up. Stop talking to us when we're fighting, man. If there's someone going to shoot me from behind, you talk to me. If he's not going to shoot me from behind, don't talk to me. Uh, let's go with three and offensive push and take the try and take that leg. There it is. Gotcha. Excellent. Mission successful. All right, well done. Thirty-three thousand should be enough to cover repairs. I think pretty close to it anyway. Uh, that was a well-executed mission, I think overall. We got lucky with the uh, defenders, that's for sure. Uh, Mad Dog. Now, I don't know if we have different pieces of a Mag Mad Dog or not. Um, but once again, we're looking at trying to forward the series along, so I think I'll forego what's down here for now, although these are nice for selling. Oh, my God. Um... Let's forego the TTS weapons, plus two accuracy in general, eh? 50% dance chance to deal a critical hit. Ah, oh, man. 20% to all range brackets, minus 50 minimum range. Gonna take that, and then I'm gonna take... Uh, Four, six, and six, eh? Three, seven, and six. 
I think I like the idea of more energy hard points. Let's do that. Yeah, we didn't get anything else. Yeah, such is my luck, I guess. 165 core. Clan heatsink kit, which you could sell if we had to. Yeah, garbage. What a lousy roll. Alright, let's have a look here. 24,000. Okay, cool. Three days for repairs. So let's launch our second lance, and then we'll come back and bring these guys back into combat. So let's have a look at the contracts real quick. Um, let's grab what we were we were saying there was one down here. Wasn't that a diamond shark? Hard target. Probably not going to give us what we want. We want a challenge, but I don't know if these guys are capable of two and a half right now. Uh, local government, though. Skilled mercenary. Elite. That's probably going to be two lances. Plus the boss. Mm. Turn the tables is destroy base. Capture base. Well, let's just get our main lance back. Not finding anything exciting there, so let's just grab our main lance. Get our pods back. All right, and let's have a look. Hostile insertion. It's against Diamond Shark, but I mean, what are we at right now with these guys? 25. So I don't think we'll drop below 20. Um, not that it really matters right now. So let's do this. Well, it's only 313 salvage though. Hard contact. Two lances of mechs. Pirates though. Um, before we do that, let's have a look at the mech base here. There's a chance if we... If we take the one against the pirates, better chance to pick up medium mech parts, right? Arctic Wolf, what's this? Gauntlet, we got five parts. Um, Griffin, we got three, two Wolverine, another Griffin part. No, that's it. I, I counted that one last time. It doesn't count. Uh, gorilla parts. Um, maybe we do take the one against the pilot, pirates then. Mad Cat parts. I don't think they're going to have that, but they might. Raptor. We got a ton of Raptor parts. Shadowhawk parts. We got three. Enforcer. Uh, another Arctic Watch well, Stormwolf. Okay, so Shadowhawk we could take. Um, Mad Cat. We definitely want to take if we can get a hold of those. Gorilla parts. Bushwhacker parts. Oh, sorry, Gauntlet parts. Um, Griffin parts. We got three there and three here. Okay, let's do that one then. Um, two lances. Um, wait, sorry, hard contact. Here we go. Two lances of mechs. Three and a half skulls. Chances are some good mediums, so let's negotiate this. Should be a good challenge. We bid one lance against your two lances. Our main lance. Let's deploy. Okay, two heavily armored lances, it says. This is going to be tough. What's going on with the mouse here again? Dang you. <laughs> we do today. Alright, hang on. I gotta get my mouse going again here. Oh, come on. There we go. Thank you. Mm. Yep. I copy. Okay, it says two heavily armored lances, so Yeah. Don't know what that means. Got it. Because you could have heavily armored locusts and not be scary. Come on. 
Commander. Gotcha. We need to focus and pull down enemies fast. We know where the two lances are. I just heard a vehicle. There's one over here, one up here. Clint? Bushwhacker. Whacker's gotta die real fast. Orders. Copy that. Okay, what else do we got? Commando? See what I mean though, right? The idea of heavily armored lance is like what? Clint can have a lot of armor, but not be scary. All right, we're ready to just pounce on this bushwhacker. Um, Standing by. Don't know how fast this whacker is going to be. Quick stepping in. Eighteen, huh? Everybody but El Duce. <laughs> Go for a quick headshot or try and leg this guy. We're just shooting at him. We want to push him back, so let's go for a head. This should be good. Oh, headshot. Nicely done. He's back to 11 now. Full throttle. We want to continue it up. Another bushwhacker. Okay. Let's just see. See what we can do here. Nah. Good to go. I'm not anywhere near as lucky as... Uh, or, uh, sorry, I don't want to say lucky. I'm not anywhere near as skilled as uh, Mockingbird is. Uh, should we fire straight out? We got enough for another one of these. Pair of LRMs with follow the leader. Normal machine guns, AC-10, ER large. Not that scary, but still scary enough. Try and core him. Let her rip. Yeah, we should get him this turn. Just need four SRM hits to a CT and he's done. It will be nice to be able to pull this guy down right away. Got eyes on hostile of course you do. They're heading your way. See, that's the kind of thing I don't mind you saying. Ready for orders. Right? This is like, hey guys, you have to fight more than one lance. Acknowledged. Thanks, Bubba. Needed that. <gasps> you didn't get enough CT hits with that? Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, but you wanted CT hits, buddy. Oh my god. I've been sensor locked. You could throw a stone at him and kill him now. What's this whacker doing? Wacky tobacky. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I, I don't blame you. Nobody on this battlefield is blaming you for running. Not one person. Commander? But we do need to chase you, so... You're not going to deny her her kill. And firing. Gotcha. Enemy eliminated. Okay, that one's done. Let's get the other one now. I don't know, we pull that Clint down?
No, I think we go after that whacker. It's got serums. Yeesh. Let's take it. Okay, not bad. Got the leg. Wow. Impressive. Think you can follow that up, buddy? Double time. Let's go. Uh, how are we doing here? Hundred, well, ninety-nine percent chance. Can't get much better than that. Firing. Yeah, man. You sharpshooter, you. Sniper. I'm not sure why you just didn't fire, but... Um, let's do it. Bola. Yep. Guy's fleeing. Yeah, he held on to, to fight a little bit anyway. Can't let Mockingbird have all of the kills. I mean, she's totally leading in a kill chart, but... Okay, you didn't fire because you couldn't fire. You're down a hill there. Didn't look like it from where we were. Ow. Target neutralized. I don't know, Marking Bird. You better watch out. Since Blockade's been <laughs> got those single target weapons, he's been a nightmare. He's going to be killing a lot of people. Ow. I need a new target. Okay. Five turns in, four mechs down. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's just get back. No, um, just in case they're fast. Let's get into here. Arbiter. Bola. Cataphract, okay. Starting to get some parts now for uh, heavier mechs, which is nice. Standing by. On it. Okay, I didn't need to use the uh, Warlord after all. Receiving you. I copy. Let's see what they do here. Yeah, firing. Standing by. Huh. Leapfrogging in front of each other to try and get the kill. It's all yours, girl. Let that arbiter get up here. Ooh. Good to go. We gonna let that happen to her guys? Yeah, we can't get in on this guy right away. 
There's that cataphract. What if they got anybody else back there? Going full throttle. All right, firing on this guy. This And fire. Waiting for orders. Okay, fire on this guy. Wow, man. Reporting critical hit. This guy showed up to the party and discovered it wasn't so much of a party. They're more of an initiation ceremony. Initiation Receiving to it. hell. Okay, I can't get you sticking your nose out. Moving out. That cataphract could be really nasty, so Thank let's not stick your nose out. Uh, we're going to target... The, wow, how much has he got left in the head? 16, eh? Oh, let's go up to this leg. Just the pulses. Roger. Okay. Back destroyed. Wow, shot him in the head too, eh? Confirm. Oh, buddy. Oh, what do we got back here? Somebody that can't actually get into the battle. <sighs> okay. That's a lot of lasers. See if we can choose see what we can get from you. Not that many leg hits. Alright, that's a lot of chevrons. Just want the best chances to hit. The only reason why I'm using Warlord firing. Heat's not an issue right now. What do you, need? you know what I need, blockade. I need that. I want that leg. Gotta take that leg home with me. Sound like Rocket Raccoon. And we need that guy's leg. Yep. Roger. Uh, yep, leg, man. Let's leg it up. Firing. I'm wondering if we move away from um, the streaks on this guy now. Move to more direct fire like we've been running with uh, um, Blockade. We're at a point now, I think that can, uh, that's a good possibility. Our accuracy is high enough now. Pulse lasers are great. Um, very, very splashy. But it's nice to have that pinpoint ability to be able to just strip somebody's leg off when you need to. Um, Alright, Griff. Hiding in those trees is not going to help you. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Standing by. Um. Move he's going on team. turn two. We got to kill this guy, so let's fire at him too. Standing by. We don't count kills anyway. Hmm. Doesn't really matter where we go. It's 99 percent chance to hit. Uh, offensive push, please. Wow. Okay. All 
That's it for that. Sure can. Um. Blockade, man. You know what to do. Waiting for order. Oh, I can't sprint far enough to see this guy. I was hoping we were going to be able to kill him there. Orders. Commander? Can you see him? You can. He's going to steal his kill now. Roger. Target confirmed. Whoops. Not if you don't turn all your pulse lasers on, you're not. Commander. Finish him up, buddy. Oh! Critical hit, Commander. Giving it to Griff, are you? Alright. Oh, shit. Not giving it to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I can't get him. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. I hope this guy doesn't have anything too nasty. Oh, he doesn't have too much left. Crippled AC-10s. Oh, he's wow, that was uh, horribly pathetic. Standing by. Alright, you should be able to do it with one gun. There you go. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, 145,000. That was a good mission. Um, it was nice and by the numbers. They didn't really have the firepower I was hoping they would have. My god, Mockingbird's kills. Um... Lots of whacker parts. I don't think... Even if we take four, I don't think we're going to get a bushwhacker. Uh, but I think that's what we're going to do, though. Once again, trying to forward the series along. Get into four, four and a half, five skull range. Then we can jump back to the clan world. XL engines, these are like, what? Almost 325,000 or something? No point in taking those. We don't need them. Um... And yeah, nothing really down here. So four bushwhacker parts it is. I don't want the X1. I'll take this version, I think, more so. Four, four, and six. I think these are the same. Just have yeah, they just have different uh, loadouts. Yeah, they're the same. So let's confirm. One, two, three, four, five in total bushwhacker parts. One, two, three cataract parts. Nice. Pirate version, but, you know, still. Some interfere stuff that we can sell. E-cooling plus one, which is nice. Two cores and a prototype double heatsink. Okay. That's actually okay. That's an okay roll on this. Alright. So nothing, once again, for repairs and stuff. Jeez, you think we almost know what we're doing now. Alright, well, let's take another mission. Why not? Um, get our main lance back. We got the time. Thanks, buddy. So I think we definitely want to move to um, we want to move to better places, uh, get some better missions. Hostile insertion, diamond sharking, and dropship. Let's do this one. We got some rep with them. Let's take it away. Okay, this said Heavy Lance inserted. Uh, let's hope it's only one. Well, this is a hellhole. This is a, I don't like this map that much because we have to get channeled. We get funneled into this area right in here. And then they're all across here and then reinforcements down here. So the battle zone is really in the open depending on how you play this. Um, it can be it can be tricky if you're not if you're not careful. Especially if they have high fire, if they have got a high fire, bleh, high firepower lance, um, this can be a quite tricky map. Especially if they don't need to move in. If you have to move to them, they can keep the high ground. 
Um, speaking of which, do I want blockade up here? We could move them up into the trees, get some high... I think maybe that's what we do. Let's get some high vantage point for him. Get an extra bonus to hit for being up on the high ground. Roger. Mm. Nope, we got reinforcements. Vehicles. So blockading the high ground is probably a bad idea. Definitely need to see what we're up against though. Let's get down in front here. Try and stay behind the rocks as best we can. Dealing with Phoenix Hawk, Strix, which I hate, Panther, and Locust. <sighs> this is supposed to be clans. These things are lousy mechs. Um, large laser minus. This is just a standard lance. Uh, okay. Don't feel that bad now. Standing by. I mean, we could still get, uh... This is the guy that I'm worried about. Let's try and drop this guy. Aye, aye. Biggest lesson you learn when you're playing... Battletech, I know it's said in one of the uh, notes, is guns off the field. If you can pull a mech down like this fast, do it. Just get rid of them. Alright, firing. Copy that. Well, it's only a large laser minus an SRM4. It's two weapons and a potential for melee that you don't have to deal with anymore. Um, they're only going to do seven, eh? Nine? Alright, well. Any damage is good damage. Yeah, they can't see us. Heads up, Commander. Smash. Well, there's the Reese. It's okay, we'll kill him. Oh, they can see us now. I've got something. I think they're all vehicles over there. Commander? Wow, this guy's got good evasion. Not that it matters with her. She can still hit like crazy. And pulling back. Now the Strix can't melee us, I don't think, from that range. Well, yeah, you know what Thought did though, right? PCT hits in this guy and he's down. Okay, he's gone. Thank you. Yep. Let's get rid of that sandwich vehicle. And dump everything into it. Okay, they got eyes off now. Get you in a little closer to support Griff. That Strix comes out, we gotta hammer him hard. Uh, let's move you up. Here. Coordinates received. This is the guy we really want, so let's hit him from range. All weapons are He's got a lot of damage reduction, so we got to start on him before he gets to us. So once again, in a in the earlier battle tech, you had to have eyes on, uh, but now. They need to have sensors on to be able to actually do anything to us, right? 
So the better your ECM, and the better your probes are, um, the more chance you'll be able to shoot at them before they can do anything. Like, like, like I said, I don't think these guys even detected us until this vehicle moved up. Because they just sat there, right? Now these are the standard inner sphere mechs, so they got really standard sensors. As soon as you start fighting against vehicles and um, clan mechs and stuff that have uh, better sensors, uh, better ECM and stuff, they're going to be detecting you a lot earlier. Is this two strikers? Clan LRM carrier, that's not good. Uh, this guy is in melee range now. Let's not give him the 35 ton mech for breakfast. Just fire. Wow, that was terrible. I think we're all intimidated. Ah, oh, crap. We're all intimidated by this guy, that's why. You want that mech, don't you? We gotta backburn this guy, I think. Commander. Locking. Ooh. Took that one right in the face. Here's my issue is that I don't think we can pull this guy down before he gets a melee shot on somebody. Which is why I'm going for headshots. We need to get out of there. You know, how many times I gotta tell you guys not to tempt fate like that. Just don't do it, please. Just stop with that tempting fate shit. Is that all you got? Yeah, that's when you die, man. You gotta be in the trees here for this. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, and you know, here I was saying, oh, are they just inner sphere mechs? Yeah, right. Um. Might get lucky and plink him. Oh! Was that a headshot? No. Looked like it was, though. Looked like he took it in the faceplate. One good shot. He could take his head clean off. I think Griff's the only one that can do that, though, right now. No, I mean, uh, sorry, I mean blockade. He's the only one that can get a shot on him and take his head off. Receiving you. Oh man, we don't have enough. Uh... Do we brace? Wait for the attack. Hope we get lucky with something. I gotta save this for blockade. All the SRMs we're gonna miss, eh?
See if I can goad him to go for me here. Mm, that's a lot of potential for head hits. I think we take it with him. Nope. Yes, Commander. Let her rip. Damn. Standing by. Let's hope you get lucky, girl. Not give him the CT. They've got a sensor lock on me. I'm sitting in here in fear now. <laughs> Strix is gonna like oh do some heavy damage to us. I mean we did a lot of work on him before he got here, but just not enough. I have no idea what his melee damage is. It's probably at least 150. It's at least 150, if not 200. Let's just hope for an armored leg hit. That's a lot of missiles. Maybe you can take care of that guy for me. They're moving the Strix last on purpose. He's taking a head hit, so maybe it's like he's thinking about running away. <laughs> nope. He went after the Stormcrow Prime. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, it's only 75. Okay. Wow. Panicking for no reason. Oh. Commander? I don't know whether they nerfed that mech or what they did, but that thing used to be a terror. I don't feel so bad now. It's 75 damage. I'm there. Let's rip this guy apart. Get our stability back. I'm going to fire on the Strix. Keep them coming after us. Uh, let's go for a headshot because we can. And firing. Oh. Got a head hit. Nice. Pissing him off. Let's see if we can kill this guy, buddy. That's some pretty good shiz if we can get it. Yep. Good kill. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Yeah. Stop the rain. Position confirmed. Take down the locust, please. Ignite. I hope we can salvage that. Okay, I got a bit of breathing room now. Strix is still dangerous. Punch to the head is instant death. So we have to be very, very careful. But we've got to stay in the trees too. It's reducing the damage by 20%. So, I mean, he's hitting for over 100, but only 75 when we're in the trees. He's going to go after the Stormcrow, most likely. He's already hit us once.
I mean, he might go. He might go after the the Grinner, but I don't know. Stormcrow most likely because of the weight and damage potential. Come on, guys. Okay, so blockade will have finish up these two vehicles. Here he comes. Oh, he missed. Okay. Hit with that though. I don't know if that's a chain sword or what that is. So this is a tank destroyer. He's gonna go next. Then the striker. So Griff, um, let's keep backing up. Let's keep making him mad, buddy. Go after that head and fire. <laughs> Bye. Enemy destroyed. Waiting for orders. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's always so enjoyable. Okay, let's see if we can strip this guy's uh, large laser. And firing. Get rid of this tank destroyer. Lots of machine guns and LB-20X. Uh, we got really great chances to hit. I wonder if we should do OP on the uh, side here. Let's try it. Not quite enough. Uh, even if that last one would have hit, it wouldn't have mattered. But he's ripe to, to die next turn, so that's good. I mean, Duce, we could... Uh, can we get in there? We can't get in there. Don't have enough juice. Get in here, though. Let's hammer this guy on his side. Let him know he's not welcome. Yeah, I remember in the earlier version of Battletech, getting a Strix was like just the thing you wanted to get. And it was way more common than it is now. I remember the first one I got, it was like just a, just a murderer melee mech. Wow, I love the effects on this game. Really makes you think about the pilots and what they have to face, right? Alright, let's see if we can finish this guy off. Ah, of course not. Standing by. Copy that, Commander. All right, going after this guy. Pretty darn close to taking that torso. Skin, torso, firing. Wow, none of the uh, missiles fired again. All right, guys, let's clean this up in a turn here. Got it. Use that next turn. Just going to fire straight out. I copy. There we go. Two left. Move her down. Phoenix Hawks coming in or running away. Yeah, your weapons are pretty much gone, eh? Yep. Commander. See if you can get another kill, girl. Whoa, almost. It's a lot of damage. Critical hit, Commander. Let's 
get the striker. Gonna try to steal the kill from blockade here. And firing. Nope. All we do is soften them up for them. Don't even need to move. Sure. Well, that's one less and Duce should be able to finish this up. If we can get to the side, yeah we can. Confirmed. And we're just gonna fire. Here it comes. And there he goes. Nicely done. So I don't know if that Strix got nerfed, but it seems to me that punch for 75 um, it would have put his damage about 106 or something like that. 103? Wait, 20%? 125. No. Uh, 106, something like that. Anyway, um, 106, 107. Still though, it seems really low. Like really, really low. Um... Yeah, incredibly low. Now, do we want the LRM-20s? We got two. Um, the big engine? Indirect accuracy is that. Melee gyro. We're not doing any melee attacks, though. Not in this series. Double heat sink kit, regular, eh. Patchwork materials, reactive plating, kinetic resistance, energy resistance. Bonus versus ballistic, eh? I don't know, man. What do we want here? Cluster ammo for LB20. Got two of them. Double. But it's regular. Artemis ammo. Now we do have this loaded up. Do we want to go like... We got streak ammo still, right? Yeah. My god, am I going to take three? <laughs> am I really going to take three of these? Well, there's the XL engine. We don't need C bills, so there's no point. Uh, we've already got one of these guys, the 300 core, we don't really need, but we do have 400 cores, so when we get heavier mechs, we can use those if we had to. Uh, LRM-20s, we have two of, we got like a shit ton of these guys, 16 light machine guns. LB-20X, um, we don't have any. Alright, let's take the LB-20X. I don't even know if we have ammo for this. It's 11 tons though, it's pretty light. I think we do actually. Now is there any ammo down here? There is. Cluster, I seem to remember us having cluster ammo. Okay, let's make sure we take a, uh, at least some ammo for this. Slug ammo. I think we have cluster ammo, so let's grab slug ammo. And confirm this. Well, I got two of the Strix parts. Uh, we got an LRM-22, which is nice. Um, some more Artemis ammo, even. Uh, that's, that's nice. Okay, so not too bad. Alright, no influence, no big deal. Loud took way from Steiner. Steiner, 47,000. Eh, could have been way worse. I think that Strix hitting a lot less than it used to. Maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know, but it just felt like it was a lot less than it could have been. Um, that'll put us back in three days. Uh, yeah, it just felt kind of weird there. Let's have a look at the star map real quick. Normally, I don't look at the end of the star map at the end of the matches because this is all going to change before we play again next time. So, um, Diamond Shark, 100%. Clan's got this one now, or Wolf does. Wolf is working on getting this one. Diamond Shark still. Diamond Shark and Hell's Horses. Yeah, so I mean, 
Wolf is doing a hell of a job back here, taking all the planets, so, I mean, there's not much we can really do about it. Ghost Bear and Glass Scorpion, eh? Ghost Bear is going to be taking all these worlds. I'm just kind of shocked that uh, some of these clans have actually fought their way back, like Glass Scorpion or uh, Ghost Bear, because Ghost Bear is like, if we go back down here, they're dying over here. They used to control most of this over here, and now they're dying. And, um, what are they called? The uh, New Delphi Compact's actually making their way in here. Kind of shocked. Someone's someone's doing some work here. That's for sure. Oh, look. Draconis Combine's working their way up here now, too. If you're not careful, the clans are going to be gone. Look at Steiner, man. Clan Wolfstone's a little bit of that, but Shiner's made their way all the way up here. So there's some kind of battle going on, that's for sure. But we'll have to see how it goes. Alright, well, we're going to end the episode here, guys. Um, yeah, interesting. Definitely interesting. So I think we're almost at a position where we can jump over to uh, uh, Ironhold, Jade Falcon World. I might just change the uh, difficulty setting to 4 or 5 so we can get some missions over there. And uh, see if we can keep uh, Jade uh, Falcon alive. Um, we do have a lot of sea bills still. We've got some junk we can sell. Um, our main lance, I think, is working really well. The only thing I might change is um, El Duce. Um, I don't think this mech is hitting as hard as it could be. Blockade's hitting really well with the four ER mediums and the ER large. So we might end up changing El Duce to just all single target uh, pinpoint damage laser weapons. Um, see how that goes. The other option is to use the LBX. Um, but we'll have to see how that goes. We, I think we definitely need something hitting harder with this uh, mech. Um, both the Atticus and I think the uh, other, uh, like the Stone Crow, are working really, really well getting in close. But I think both these guys should be working the back lines and um, uh, doing pinpoint damage. So we'll see what we do. Alright, so if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.